Hey, so today's video, we're going to be going over uh, some of the improvements and changes that we've made to our um, Volkswagen, the Vanagon and the uh, Type 4 uh, fuel rails that we have for some air cooled and some water boxer motors. Um, the mounting brackets changed a little bit. Some of the, uh, the fittings changed. Uh, so we're going to go over a little bit uh, in detail what changed and a little bit of the reasoning why. I'm going to start off with the... Uh the water boxer um, Vanagon fuel rail and go over some of the changes that we made on this here. Um, on the ends here, this was threaded for a um, NPT threading, which everybody seemed to have a problem getting to seal. I'm not exactly sure the reasoning behind why people had such a struggle with that, but um, as you can see, this, this fitting here, it's tapered and it does not seal more the more you tighten it in you need thread sealant on this on this seal here uh tape or permatex number two is what we recommend to uh to actually use um so that was changed on the next uh the next version and what we did is use a what's called a port fitting this port fitting here it seals with an o-ring so this o-ring goes over top of this goes right against there here and on the new rails there is a relief inside of here where the o-ring seals against the back of the the rail and now there's no need for any tape or anything so the o-ring is sealing the fitting into the rail can't mess it up in you know, 25 years of making fuel rails for other applications. I can probably count on one hand the number of problems that we had with uh, fittings not being able to seal on, uh, you know, somebody's installation. With these Vanagon rails, we've sold about 100 or so of these kits, and almost every single person, for some reason, cannot get it to seal without calling us. So we made the change. With that change allowed us to also change the uh, distance of the rail so if you mount up the mounting points when you're looking in you know where the injectors line up the rail themselves are a little bit longer which does two things it allows the npt fitting that doesn't actually go all the way in when you're getting a seal to the port fitting which does go all the way in it allows the uh, the rail to be a little bit longer to meet up and also gives us just slightly more distance. Out here you can see it's a little bit further out, which then helps clear the, um, the wires that are in there. Um, another thing that we did was change out the threads, which this was another thing that we had. We designed this originally to have this slot in there, which allows an adjustment to be made on the height of the rail, depending if you were to change out to use the injector that we supply versus a different injector. The distance is already compensated for, the injector being able to not slide out of here, still be held in, but people, for whatever reason, were freaking out about that. So what we did on the newest version, did away with that. It's one simple hole. You cannot adjust it. Uh, you can adjust it if you wanted to. Make your own slot in the new bracket. But as you can see here, it's just one hole set to the injector height that we supply with the kits. Um, the other thing we did do, though, that kind of made sense was do away with... We had a 532nd, um, uh, what do you call it, Allen key to a 1032nd thread in there. And we just changed it over to be an M5 thread on here using a 10 millimeter. And this way, tools that you already have out probably for this project are what you would have to use, not have to go find some kind of a, uh, you know, an Allen key. Uh, similar differences on the uh, air-cooled uh, rail. So this one here is the, the original. You can see there was slots in there on the new brackets it's simply the hole 
And same thing on the relief inside of here being made for the port fitting. Be able to just tighten up, make it as tight as you can. The O-ring seals it around there. Boom, you're good to go. Um, again, on this rail here, we also did use the, uh, the M5 thread. And what else do we do here? I think that's pretty much it for those changes. Another thing that we're doing is we're going to be including all these fittings uh, with the kits. We made it an option before, um, but that being said, almost every single kit that went out, somebody uh, purchased along with the rail, or if they did not, what they did was contact us later saying, yeah, we can't figure out the fittings. Um, we're just going to go ahead and buy the kit. So we tried keeping it down for cost wise because we know, you know, a lot of people are frugal on how much money they can spend um we try to keep that as an option for people versus including it but everybody seemed to want to include it anyway so that's what we did we included for you guys but that's pretty much it for the changes so i'm sure you can see that those uh improvements are going to be good for the community and help in the ease of install and just overall were somewhat necessary you don't always get everything right the first time that you put something out, but you improve along the way and make it better for everybody. So I hope you guys enjoy.